assalamu alaikum good evening uh, everyone so our today's topic is little bit important i always speak about it the concrete cause and, and in the most of videos i speak about the concrete cause and its importance the reason is because this this thing got importance uh, in our building structures is most usually it is ignored or during construction process so uh, how is this ignored that normally we speak about the experiences that i have seen at some of your like this are like this and and this is enough okay so today i will be talking about the aci rules that is american concrete association rules that has been given for the specified concrete cars okay so uh, the concrete code does not only depends upon the exposure type but it also depend upon the members like the slab the column the beam or whatever or the foundation all these things also it depends upon the exposure type so what is the concrete exposure type okay so the first thing that i'm going to talk about is the concrete exposure so concrete exposure means that uh, whether this structure is in an open atmosphere whether it is a concrete retained structure or whether it is uh, somewhere in high heat so all these things uh, are the factor that affects the concrete cover okay so today i'm going to talk about the Clause number 20.6.1.3.1 of ACI 31A-14. Okay, you people will have to listen to this video completely because at every point I will not just be talking about the concrete cover but the importance and reasons for concrete cover also. Okay, so here the first thing that is important is if the uh, if the concrete member is in contact with soil every time like uh, 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 like a foundation or slab or beam or column whatever it is but it is cast against permanently in contact with ground okay in contact with ground if I speak about it in contact with ground any member that is in concrete uh, in contact with ground that may be a slab okay in, in some cases the a slab can be in contact with soil uh, or that can be a beam also that can be a column also so if it is in contact with ground uh, in, in in the type of member is anyone like uh, as i said it can be a beam it can be a slab it can be a column it can be a foundation so all the members uh, which are in contact with ground uh, and, and, and the reinforcement type is everyone it, it can be number three number four to to whatever is the highest value of concrete reinforcement diameter the minimum okay the, uh, I, I just forgot one thing that specified minimum concrete cover okay this is the minimum concrete cover so the minimum concrete in this case is three inches which is equal to uh, 75 millimeter okay so keep this thing in your mind that this is as per the aci rule and this is the minimum concrete cover so anywhere if the value of those members which are in contact with ground is less than three inches you being a structural engineer you being a site engineer should should be uh, responsible for that if you haven't provided enough cover to that concrete member and the very much important reason is because if a member is in contact with ground there are very much exposed chances of the member uh, to get in contact with soil and, and 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 if that come in contact with soil then uh, the moisture is going to affect that concrete member okay so the moisture will uh, as i previously said that it will rust the concrete member and if that gets rust the strength is lost okay so if that thing uh, if that concrete member is in contact with ground you will have to provide a minimum concrete cover up three inches or 75 millimeter okay the number second thing is if it is exposed to weather or in contact with ground the second thing is if it is exposed to weather okay now if you just imagine if, if, if this is a building if i speak about this is a building okay so if you just this is these are the periphery columns and these are the periphery beams the end beams uh, there are also let me let me draw these are the columns 
and these are also the column be, uh, beams these are the beams so if you just look here that these beams these outer beams are exposed to weather okay exposed to weather mean that uh, if a high temperature uh, if it is a high now exposed to temperature exposed to weather mean that weather it is a very much high temperature real light somewhere in the mid of july uh, where 50 degrees centigrade is the temperature then this 50 degrees is going to affect these outer beams and these outer columns so we will have to provide enough cover so that the heat may not affect the strength of steel we will be talking about the if the relation between heat and con uh, steel members somewhere else here we will be talking about just the concrete cover and its importance so here if the concrete is uh, under uh, a heavy heat then we will have to provide enough cover to that member so that reinforcement may not get affected okay so if if the member is exposed to weather like a beam like an uh, like a periphery beam of any building or the periphery column of any building then the concrete cover uh, will be having uh, an impact over the type of steel also okay uh, and i will be talking about any member okay i'm t uh, writing all like all the members if, whether it is a beam or whether it is a slab whether it is a column whether it is a what what whatever it is uh, it, it it will have a specific value so the first thing that is important here is uh, number six through number 18 bars okay i'm talking about number six through number 18 bars okay so if if the bar size is number six to number 18 then the concrete cover will be two inches okay two inches or 50 millimeter okay you must keep this thing in your mind that at least the beams and the columns which are most probably exposed to weather shall have two inches or at least 50 millimeter concrete cover okay so that these members may not get affected uh, by the extreme heat in case if the if the building has been constructed or is under construction in a very much high temperature uh, area okay now if if the bar size is number five uh, number six uh, if, if, if the bar size is less than number six okay then the concrete cover provide will be one whole one by two inches that is 37.5 millimeter okay so in case if the concrete cover uh, if the member is uh, a member having number 6 to number 18 bars then we will have to use a concrete cover of 2 inches that is 50 millimeter or if it is less than uh, that that is number 6 uh, then less than number 6 then we will be using a concrete cover of 37.5 millimeter okay the third one that is not exposed not exposed to weather and not in contact with soil now what is this case this is a very much normal case specifically the inside columns and inside beams of any building okay so if i talk about uh, the slabs the columns and the walls okay sorry not the columns the wall the slabs and the walls uh, then there are two types inside this there are two types that is the number 14 and number 18 if you are using number 14 and number 18 bars in any slab or wall that is not exposed to weather and not in contact with soil then the minimum concrete cover you will be using is 3 by 4 inches okay so you you must keep this thing in your mind now if you are using number 11 and smaller bars number 11 and smaller if the bar size is number 11 and smaller then your concrete cover must be 3 by 4 inches I'm sorry I did a mistake this is not 3 by 4 inches this is 1.5 inches actually 
okay so in case of number 14 and number 18 bars used in slabs and walls which are not exposed to wither and not in contact with soil then you your concrete core must be 1.5 inches now if you are using bars which are number 11 or smaller than number 11 which uh, in slabs or walls which which are not exposed to wither and not in contact with soil you must be using concrete core of 3 by 4 inches okay so you you must keep this thing in your mind this is very much important for yourself uh, these values are most probably the the most widely ignored values especially in slabs uh, and in walls okay now if not exposed to weather and not in contact with soil if, if if these are the beams okay beams columns and somewhere the pedestals okay then what will be the concrete cover okay uh, here uh, the important thing is whatever the reinforcement has been used and these member the beams the columns the pedestals the concrete cover will be 1.5 inches okay this is very much important it it can be 1.5 1 to 1.5 inches okay then the list value will be one somewhere we use one inch as well okay so keep this thing in your mind that these values are important wherever we go and wherever we use the concrete cover okay i will be writing the aci clause here the aci clause is 20.6.1.3.1 0.1. This is the SEI class from where I got these values and the table that I have used is table 20.6.3 sorry 0.1.3.1 okay I have used this table and I have used this class so you must follow this class and this table if where you you need to write these values are and if you cannot write it you do need to go to this class and find this table and write all these values you, with you and apply this in your general okay so i hope that uh, uh, these values must be a big uh, being a civil engineer this is your responsibility to make people to make people understand that what is the importance of concrete cover and why do we need to follow these values okay so you must follow these rules because these are important for the strength of concrete for the lifetime of the building and if you don't follow this you are going to kill that building okay so i hope you would have learned this and please write this with you and follow this in the feed thank you very much and if you have learned something please don't forget to subscribe our channel so that you may get all the values that we are going to talk about all the lectures that we are going to talk about thank you very much allah hafiz